Welcome to Mongolia, a wild landscape tucked between the two massive nations of Russia and China. Mongolia is known for many things, such as wild horses, the softest cashmere, mighty wrestlers, and unique homes called gares. But what people don't know of is a remote people group nestled in the northernmost valley far from any civilization called the Tatan tribe. Originally from the Russian region of Tuva, the semi-nomadic Tatan people survive off the land and their reindeer. Over the next week, I will be journeying north by plane, by car, and by horse to the last reindeer herders of Mongolia, to the mystical valley of the Tatan people. Y'all crazies ready? <laughs> Let's go! After two days of driving, we arrived at the home of Gantamore and Gansuk, herder boys, who will be providing our horses and joining us on our adventure north. This is where we will camp for the night and ride out from tomorrow. In the morning, the boys herded in our horses and began the not so easy task of getting them ready to go for the two days of riding ahead. Before we knew it, we were mounted up and ready to go. We are about six miles out. This is our incredible view. And this is my horse. I've named him Chief. Uh, we've already had a rider down, a horse loose. Uh, had to go and <laughs> chase that one, wrangle it up, but we got her. Um, gosh, Mongolia does not disappoint. And I'm excited to show you the rest of the journey. Ow, oh, look at that, just biting me. Oh, these things are absolutely a pain in the ass. Okay. See ya. We stopped for a second. Gotta let them graze. Whew, this is not for the faint of heart. Y'all know that I ride a lot. Um, but these little saddles, you think that they're all like padded, but like there's just straight up metal under the bottom. And let's just say my ass is ticked. We made it to camp one, immediately jumped off our horses. Now we're in the riverbed, about to go swimming because, shoo, it's hot outside. Post swim and feeling pretty great. Uh, the water is actually glacial water that's coming off of a glacier just up this way. And so it's really cold. Um, but I was able to breathe it out, get some good breathing in get it like a couple minutes in there which is really nice and now we've got our tent set up and getting ready for dinner got my hair braided thanks chloe first night is off to a great start okay all ready to go for day two I'm about to be off eric yes sir are you having fun this is the most epic place in all of Mongolia. I'm not saying it because I lead this trip. <laughs> because it is. What you see in front of you is puking wildflowers. We got feisty horses that are fun as hell. We got an uh, epic river over here that we all just little dip in. And uh, throw some of our bits in as well. And today we're heading to the Tatan people. Which are the last reindeer riders in Mongolia. And it's up through these mountains over the top of the summit and then we'll be with our families. We got Danny here, we got an epic group of equestrians and we got a little pit stop too.
As we climbed higher and higher over the ridge, the anticipation built. The air got thinner, and it felt like even our horses knew it was the last climb up before our descent into Reindeer Valley. So up we climbed, and upon reaching the top, the herders led us around a tall mound of rocks found all throughout Mongolia, most often at the top of dangerous ridges like this one. It is said that circling clockwise three times and placing a rock each time will grant you safe passage on your journey. The air shifted, and the whole landscape changed as we began our descent. Teepees dotted the valleys, and the herds of reindeer began to come into sight. We had made it to the Valley of the Totten People. I'm telling you, you wouldn't believe it. There's no chance you'd believe this unless you were actually here. We just arrived at reindeer land after about 13 miles of riding today, 13 miles of riding yesterday. Absolutely wild. Over the next five days, we will make Reindeer Valley our home, staying with one of the Totten families, living, eating, and working like the Totten people the best we can. We are about to go ride up over that mountain over there, go to a little forest, have a little adventure, collect some firewood for this family that we're staying with, and then see what else we can find. We've had quite the wonderful time out here. Um, <laughs> look at this. It's just a whole corral of reindeer. We've been taking it super slow, super low key. It's everything that I needed. And just gonna keep continuing to show you all that it is. So thanks for joining me. Another beautiful day out on the step. Look at this. Can you even believe it? I can't. Um, it's July 1st. Today we are watching a reindeer race. So the Totten are going to race the reindeer across this big field. So I'm gonna throw my drone up and see if we can get some shots of that.
the last morning. We are all packed up, ready to go. Well, getting all packed up. And uh, got little baby reindeer running around. The horses are being saddled. The pit toilet is hanging out. This trip has been absolutely incredible. We still have a long journey home. Um, we've got two days of riding and two days of driving, so not done yet, but we are done here at reindeer camp. And I'm so, so happy to have been able to share it with you. And I'm excited to share the rest of the journey with you also. On the road again. <laughs> That's right. On the road again. Headed out. Bye reindeer peoples. Mm. All right, two day journey to go. It's our last day on horses. Headed home. We took a different route home and had this amazingly beautiful campsite. So many wildflowers right by the river. Very beautiful. Um, so yeah, last day headed to horse camp. Going to drop off the horses. Then we have two days of car driving. Two days of driving. <sighs> big stuff we've done big stuff we're still about to do big stuff I don't know it's a lot very grateful so away we went after five days of making this valley our home we were on our final journey back to civilization as my adventure to Mongolia comes to a close I sit here in a place of pure gratitude this trip was like no other it was a journey into a different world, exploring untouched land, connecting with people without sharing the same language, and learning lessons that no teacher could teach. As I settle in back at home, I can't help but think about all the things in our daily life that we take for granted, without allowing ourselves the perspective of the wider world around us. Never to invalidate our personal human experience, but to expand our mind to better understand the treasures we have. It's a special thing to travel, to explore, to stay curious. We all have so much to learn. I cannot wait to keep sharing this magical world with you. And always remember to stay passionately curious, my friends. <laughs>